everyone. I'm here today taking a look at the Mattel Roar Attack Bumpy from the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous toy line. Here's how Bumpy looks in the packaging, so open front packaging. And then there's that beautiful artwork of the jungle and the broken fencing and everything that all of this wave have had. Here's a closer look at Bumpy. And even though there are some shared parts from the original Ankylosaurus release, there are quite a few unique bits to this as well. If I bring in that first Ankylosaurus, to compare, you can see the heads are different for starters, which I'm really pleased about because I was a bit worried they were just going to repaint the first release and not give Bumpy the short horn, which of course she has to have because that's what her whole name is based on. So I'm really glad they've given her a unique head. And the head is far more detailed on Bumpy than the original Ankylosaurus. It's also a bit bigger too. The detailing looks a lot better on Bumpy's head than on the original Ankylosaurus release. There's also some better paint details as well, a bit of a more intricate paint job, like the beak has been painted for instance. And you can see how the head's a bit bigger on Bumpy as well, which makes sense because the baby Bumpy had a really big head, so I guess there's kind of some continuity there, that as an adult her head would be a bit bigger than the other Ankylosaurus too. There are a lot of shared parts on the underside, pretty much the only difference is the battery cover has a gap on it on Bumpy, whereas on the original it doesn't, but pretty much everything else on the underside, the legs are the same, all of the bottom part of the body, the underside of the body is the same, and I think the tail is the same as well. Here's the app codes if anyone wants them. But on the back here, even though it looks very similar, the shells are actually different, because they've got different buttons on to accommodate the different action features. So the main parts of the body that are exposed, the back and the head, are all new on Bumpy. The horns coming out of the side of the tail on Bumpy are also painted on the new one, whereas on that original Ankylosaurus release they weren't, the tail wasn't really painted at all, it was just one solid colour. So they've put in a lot more detail and effort with the paint on Bumpy. And maybe it's because she's quite a popular dinosaur and you know quite well known now because of the cartoon, she's quite a significant dinosaur, they've put in that extra effort. As with all these raw attack figures, it has that sliding button on the back which you push forward once, and as well as making a sound, instead of making the mouth open like on most of the others, it makes the tail sway. So you press it forward once, and the tail moves a little bit to the side. Forward again, it moves a little bit more, and then when you move it to the last space, it kind of swings across to the other side to give them kind of a whacking motion. Whereas on the original Ankylosaurus, it was just a push down button that made the tail sway from side to side like that. So, to compare the sounds, The only problem with these buttons is it does mean that there is a hole that goes into the figure. And even if you push it the other way, you can see it's the same the other side as well. A really great looking sculpt on the head, and the paint kind of brings out the detailing as well. And here's the juvenile bumpy for comparison. I do like how on the juvenile the details on the legs are actually sculpted on all those scales whereas on the new one because they're just reusing the legs from the original Ankylosaurus they've just painted those on. That doesn't look quite as good. It would have been nice if the legs were newly sculpted so they had that extra sculpting detail because I really do like that on the baby that always kind of stood out to me. That juvenile bumpy has a really nice sculpt as well for such a small figure that does look kind of cartoony 
and doesn't necessarily fit in that well with the other dinosaurs because it's got a bit of a cartoony look to it. It is a really nice sculpt. You can see the similarities in the colour scheme. And of course the short horn on the head. For articulation, the head's got a really nice range of motion, kind of swivels around, up, down, to the side, all the way around. And then the legs go forward and backwards, and the back ones also swivel out to the side a bit and in. So, kind of what you'd expect. It's the same articulation as the first release of Ankylosaurus, but the legs are a lot tighter on this, on that original. I found them a little bit loose, not too bad, it's not like it collapses under its own weight or anything but I did notice that on Bumpy the joints are tighter, which is nice, but they're not too tight. Just kind of a, a useful tightness to them, so not quite as floppy. I don't have Benjamin or any of the other kids from Camp Cretaceous yet, unfortunately, but I do have Jimmy from the original movie, so I've put him on the back there. I guess the Camp Cretaceous kids are going to be about the same size as Timmy here when they come out, so that gives you some idea of what Benjamin will look like sat on the back there. I think they make quite a nice little family. If you've got all three, you can use this as the baby for these two as the parents. So that's the raw attack bumpy. And Kylosaurus is probably my favorite herbivore, so I'm really glad that we've got another one. And even though two of these are the same dinosaur, as I said, you can use them as separate ones if you want to. I think this does work as a kind of a baby that these two would have produced. So building up quite a nice little Ankylosaurus herd now. I wouldn't mind having a few more. I know they have released some repaints of the Rorivores version, but the colour schemes didn't really match up. I like that these two, even though they look unique from each other, they don't look so different that they look out of place together. Like there's still some colour similarities. Bumpy's just a bit more bright and vibrant, but it's still the same basic kind of colours on the back with that kind of teal. It's also nice that Bumpy has a few unique details as well. It's not just a repaint, you know, there's different sculpt on the back and on the head. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll hopefully see you again soon.